For today's video, we're going to be transforming 10 of these legendary trap schematics. And I've already gone into detail over how to farm legendaries. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to go check it out. But to sum it up quickly, you're going to want to go to Storm Shield 1 and look out for the missions that are highlighted in orange. And they'll either be legendaries or V-Bucks. Each of those alert missions have a 24 hour cooldown and the most you can do is 10 every day. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly explain that for those who are wondering how we were able to get all of these legendaries. I've seen legendary items in Plankerton, Candy Valley, and Twine Peaks. The only legendary item I've seen in Stonewood are V-Bucks. And if you prefer, you can farm missions that give V-Bucks instead of legendaries. And most of the V-Bucks are somewhere between 30 and 40. So you can earn up to like three to 400 V-Bucks every day just by doing these alert missions. But like I said, I've been farming the legendaries. So for this one, we're gonna transform these traps. In order to transform legendary traps, you're going to need a total of 582 points. And we don't really have a whole lot we can transform it with. So we're going to go ahead and open up some llamas real quick. Because as we all know, you're guaranteed at least one epic or legendary from every event llama. So let's go ahead and open up these real quick. And I'm going to try to run through these as fast as possible. Uh, we may just focus on... The epic and legendaries that we get we'll fast forward through everything else oh what was that bald eagle okay and i guess we'll check out the perks too once we finish but for now we just need to get some epic and legendaries for these transformations Let's see we got a copper whisper i'm still missing two of the heroes i haven't gotten the new constructor yet or the new soldier so hopefully we get both of those i don't really care if they're epic or rare legendary as long as we get one version of them i'll be happy looks like we got another copper whisper we're gonna have to choose between let's go ahead and get the razor wire and keep in mind we can upgrade the rarity of weapons after the next patch so even if we get like a decent epic, we may go ahead and keep it. Uh, let's see what we get from this one. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Silent Spectre. It doesn't matter. We already got both of those weapons. We don't really need weapons. We need the new heroes. I heard a lot of people been struggling when it comes to getting new heroes. Uh, and I'm one of them. I think I've opened up maybe 20 or 30 of these llamas. And I've only gotten the Ninja and the Outlander. Oh, and we got another Outlander. Perfect. Uh, that's not one of the ones that we needed. We need either the Soldier or the Constructor. And if we get a bunch of stuff we don't need, then we'll use it for transformation. Oh, and we just got a Legendary Whisper. Hopefully that one came with good rolls. Let's see what we get from this one. One of the new heroes, please. Let me get one of the new heroes, Soldier or Constructor. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to choose between... Oh, yes, we finally got the new Constructor, perfect. Well, we're not gonna be able to use this one for transformations, but we'll be able to get some gameplay of the new Constructor, finally. All we need now is the Soldier. So if we can get one of those, that would be perfect. Didn't get it from this one. How many llamas we got left? We got two more llamas left. Let's go ahead and run through them real quick and start transforming. What we get from this one? Shock Trooper, Renegade. And what else? That one doesn't matter. All right, so we got one more chance to get the new soldier. Let's see what we get. Here we go. I need a double agent. What we get? Skirmisher Edge. Uh, this one doesn't matter. Hurry up, fast forward. And another Ground Pounder. All right, well, we didn't get the new soldier, but we did get the new constructor. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly scroll over everything just to show y'all the perks that came with it. We actually got a lot of weapons, but not that many heroes. Fortunately, we did get the new Demolitionist. 
What we get on this whisper? Fire rate, fire rate, headshot damage, headshot damage, crit chance. No elemental damage. We got shotgunner, silent specter, a razor wire. Pretty decent roll. Another whisper, another whisper. Got another bald eagle without elemental damage. Another thing I'll do sometimes is purchase some legendaries and epics from the event store. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this backbreaker and we'll check out the perks before we use it for transformations just in case we get something good. And let's go ahead and get this copper falcon as well. Again, if it doesn't come with good perks, then we'll get rid of it. And let's go ahead and get this Armageddon as well. And let's go ahead and check out their perks. All right, so the Armageddon came with heavy attack efficiency, crit damage, damage, crit chance, and durability. So yeah, we'll probably use that for transformations. And our Falcon came with crit damage, damage times two, and headshot damage times two. It's not that bad of a roll, but it doesn't do elemental damage, so we may use that for transformations as well. But our Backbreaker came with damage times two, magazine size times two, and it also deals nature damage and causes affliction. And as of right now, I don't have any shotguns that do nature damage. So uh, we're going to go ahead and keep this one. But I think we'll use the other two for transformations. All right, so I think we got enough stuff to transform these traps. Let's go ahead and transform it. I already have the new Outlander leveled up to five stars, so I don't really need them. All right, so for this first one, we got a ceiling gas trap came with crit chance trap damage times three and reload speed that's actually a pretty decent roll i'm not sure if it's as good as the one that we already own uh we'll compare it later but that was actually a pretty good roll let's go ahead and do another one all right so we got enough for the second one let's see what we get a floor launcher impact and knockback times three reload speed and durability let's go ahead and do another one didn't really like that floor launcher, so we're going to go ahead and use that to transform this one. And we got wall darts with this one. Crit chance, crit damage, trap damage, and durability times two. I think we'll go ahead and use that one for the next transform. Hopefully we got enough stuff to transform all of these. Let's go ahead and transform this one. A ceiling electric field, reload speed, crit damage, trap damage, and two durabilities. But I do already have a couple that have better rolls. So we'll go ahead and use that one for the next one. Hopefully we get a good one with this one. Another ceiling electric field trap. Wow. Trap damage, crit damage, reload speed, trap damage, and durability. The traps that I really need are retractable floor spikes. I also need some better ceiling drop traps. And wow, that is actually a really good roll for a ceiling gas trap. We got crit chance times two, crit damage times two, and reload speed. You know what, I think we're going to go ahead and keep this one and we'll get rid of the other one that we got because that is a much better roll. That's a really good roll. Alright, so let's see what we get from this one. Uh, some more floor launchers. Came with impact and knockback, durability times three and reload speed. I think the ones I already own have better rolls, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, let's see what we get from this one. Some more wall darts, crit chance times two, crit damage times two, and durability. Kinda wish we got reload speed instead of durability, but still a pretty good roll. Like I said, what we really need are retractable floor spikes and ceiling drop traps, but we got wall lights in this one. Stun time times two, reload speed times two, and durability. And it's actually a pretty decent roll as far as wall lights go. All right, so I believe this is the 10th transformation as you can see, we're using items that we get from the event store. Let's go ahead and transform it. See what we get. A cozy campfire. Came with healing amount times three and max durability. And this may end up being the last one that we do because I ran out of stuff to use for transform. So let's go ahead and transform this last one. See what we get. Healing pads. Oh my goodness. Reload speed times two. Healing amount times two and durability. So yeah, I think that'll do it for this one. Let me know what you think about the traps that we got. Also, let me know which of these weapons you would like to see me transform next. Or do you want me to do a video where we transform everything or maybe one of everything? Let me know how you want me to do it next. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.